Hey, Wayland and Welder back at you. Another video where this one's gonna be about how to grind a bevel on a piece of plate. Uh, 3 8 plate, about six inches long, somewhere around in there. You're gonna be using this uh, in your V groove with backing class welding 111. Uh, when we go to welding uh, 115, we'll put a landing on it. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that all in the same video. So we're gonna be using these grinders and using these this, this process quite a bit. Um, you need to get used to it. Don't get spoiled by the beveler machine and think that Mr. Omer's gonna make us nice, beautiful bevels every day in class. That's not gonna happen. Uh, there'll be days, that, maybe a week or so, that machine don't even cut on. So you need to be responsible enough to grab a grinder, prepare it like in the last video, and then put it to work. And we're gonna do that today. Make sure you got earplugs, safety glasses, get you some gloves, just regular work gloves and a face shield okay use a face shield and it keeps that on them sparks and burrs from out of your face out of your eyeballs okay and that's mandatory in the shop all right we got a basic 3 h plates here piece of scrap um, that we use for a test and this last one as you can tell this is a micro arms plasma cutting test we're just using it um, and like i said in the other classes every piece of metal is available and we're going to use it all so you can clamp this down in the vise on, on each one of these tables or you can clamp it to the side over there using um, a C-clamp or anything. I don't care about that. We just want to make sure that we are grinding the edge in a nice smooth pattern. Don't, you know, just be gouging on it one spot. I found out that that doesn't really work best and you'll get a bunch of waves and humps in it. We don't want that. All right, so we're going to start our bevel. I like to keep my grinder at the same angle all the way across. I don't like to be doing this, you know. That, that's gonna change your angle, give you some hills and valleys, okay? So what you wanna do is just start. All right, so that's our bevel. All right, so a little bit of grinding later. We got it done, it's nice and smooth. They don't have no jagged edges in it, okay? It's almost like a, a damn machine done that. That's what I wanna see. Sometimes you'll get some little flaky edges off the back of this so it's real sharp. And if you want to, you could just grab your grinder. And it'll take care of that. Okay. And that is a beveled edge. 30 degree, that's what we want. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to put a landing on this. That's a flat edge on top of your bevel. You always got to go down to a bevel first and then come back with your landing and we're gonna be using an eighth of an inch landing and we just use this simple um, little, uh, little stub of a weld here. This is a 1 8 70 18. That's what we got left over and we're gonna use it as our sizing tool to make sure when we put it on there, it fits properly. All right, so what I like to do when I'm putting on a landing, simple, easy, straight pulls back with the grinder until I get the desired width that I want. I think that's my eighth. Let me check it. I like it. Let's get down a little closer. That's how we're going to use the welding rod. Eighth of an inch all the way down. Like I tell some of my, my students, this base metal prep is important. It's important to attention to detail. If you don't get the base pep right, when you go to fit this, this thing up, it's gonna be all cockeyed, wompy. And it's not, you're not gonna get the desired results that you want in your, out of your V group, especially open root. That landing and that, uh, that bubble makes a huge difference. So let's get that right let's work on that make sure that you're running your grinder try to throw the sparks away from your partner try to throw them down 
not up into the air, coming back down somebody's neck. Make sure you got your gloves, your face shield, and your hearing protection in at all times when grinding.